एवरीवन हम हिमांशु फ्रॉम इंटराजो वी आर हेयर एट अपर्णा सरीन पार्क हैदराबाद टू शो केस आ प्रीमियम इंटीरियर्स दिस टाइम वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद आ प्रीमियम किचन व्हिच इज पावर्ड बाय यूरो कंपोनेंटी ग्लास फ्रॉम इटली एंड अ सीजर स्टोन वनीला नॉयर पावर्ड विद हैफले अप्लायंसेस ओवर हियर वी हैव यूज्ड अ काउंटर टॉप फ्रॉम सीजर स्टोन द शेड इज वनीला नॉयर we have a really color glass which is chamfered on the edges and the shutters are on birch ply no mdf no hdf and no hdhmr and we have three drawers one for cutlery another one for cup and saucer and another one for plates and storage and the theme of the kitchen is an entire dark gray and we have a color matching faucet and a aro faucet from aquaguard We have two shutters under the sink. Over here we have a bottle pull out. We have a corner draw system. We have used Plum Space Corner which carries 65 kg of weight capacity. Each and every item is quite accessible. And it is soft close. And two more draws. So all the draws in this kitchen are Lagra box from Plum. In the wall unit area we have lift up systems which is with a aluminum frame and a tinted glass and the hardware what we have used is plum hk top and a profile lighting inside so you can see how nicely client has organized the stuff same here as well for a upper wall unit in the corner we have a easy access corner so that you can access every bit of it and we have a shutter with a shelf over here we have storage again in a very well organized way and we again have a easy access corner over here since we have shifted the aro under the sink we have a storage over here as well on the other side of the kitchen we have planned two tall units one for built in microwave and a built in oven and a storage cabinet over here on the other side we have a pantry on it which is blum lagra box pantry with a glass front this helps in optimizing a storage pretty well and with blum 165 degree hinges zero protrusion let me show you the living area now in the living area we have flat fall ceiling with a down lighters we have covered fire sprinkler pipes in a step design in the entertainment unit we have base unit with a tinted glass where your remote can be accessed in a wall panel we have a stone marble finish and a bronze mirror with beveled edges we have fluted panel with a duco paint we have used a quartz over here all around border in a back panel and a ledge to keep some stuff like keys etc we have designed a sofa back wall with the wall trims and we have placed ac in the center of the wall trims with two wall lights let me show you a family area now we have designed a wall decor to complement on the sofa back wall with a lighting and a ac over there we have done a visible curtain track over here and due to a pleated structure of the curtain the track is not much visible we have a aluminum frame with a tinted glass we have a crockery unit with both side profile lighting a space for bar a space for crockery and all that can be accommodated over here we have a storage for base unit and a wall unit with some open shelves and a fluted back panel we have a taller bookshelf over here which we have merged along with the crockery unit in the dining area wash basin unit we have counter top from caesar stone it's vanilla noir shade we have a counter top wash basin and a black faucet along with that we have done a different tiling work over here with a designer mirror and a hanging wall light we have a vanity cabinet below it and a open shelf for planters 
In the puja area, we have a aluminium frame door, floor to ceiling with a fluted glass. With the insert hinges, we have also done a wooden frame all around and there's no frame in the bottom to avoid any hindrance. Over here we have a base unit with two drawers in the bottom and a tray and an artistic paint on the wall. In the master bedroom, we have a flat fall ceiling along with a profile light and a down louters. We have also used some spots over there. We have used a very subtle theme in the entire house, hence we have subtle curtains as well. What we have is a lean and textured curtains and we have done matching texture paint as well on the headboard wall. Over here in a wardrobe, we have floor to ceiling shutter without any joint that's a product from Technomat Italy. We have aluminium shutters with a rail door profile and a tinted glass with a profile lighting and a wooden inner laminate inside. We have long profile handles to open the same. On the other side, we have a study with some couple of drawers and a ledge and a cylindrical light on top. We've also given a cutout for AC so that uh, while removing the AC it can be lifted upwards and can be removed easily. In the walk-in area of master bedroom, we have a floor to ceiling wardrobe where the shutter continued completely 9 feet without any joint. It's from Technomat and the profile handles we have is for 4 feet height. And we have some open ledges and we have a complete mirror with an aluminium profile all around it in a rose gold finish. In the master bedroom bathroom, we have a vanity unit. Under the counter, we have done a white quartz and a countertop wash basin with a faucet and a black aluminium frame around the mirror. In the guest bedroom, we have done a flat fall ceiling with a down lighters and a cove lighting. We have a floor to ceiling Technomat wardrobe. Without any joint, tall shutters can go up to 9 and 10 feet as well. With 4 feet long handles. We have given a space for storage on top, a hanger space, couple of shelves, drawers. In the other corner of the guest bedroom, we have done a study unit with a Roman blind for the window. We have a designer mirror over here and a base unit. We have done wall treatment with a texture paint. In the another room, we have done a floor to ceiling wardrobe, again with Technomat finish. We have six shutters with a four feet long handles. We have planned a space for the storage on top, hanger space, two drawers, and a space for stacking. On the other side, we have done a dresser unit with a couple of drawers and a mirror with cove lighting. This is it from our premium interiors. We'll see you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.